Bruce Energetics here. We got a new product up for sale on eBay. The H-Flow Browns Gas Torch. It's a medium to small size torch. Um, basically, we took a blowgun for a compressor and we added one of our flashback arresters to it. And we made a custom tip, uh, 0.025 um, feeder tip for a welder. Not really its intended purpose, but it works great for this uh, torch. And for anyone who doesn't know what HHO is, basically we're running electricity through water, splitting it into its component gases, hydrogen and oxygen. And um, instead of separating those gases, the gases are left mixed together um, in a stoichiometric ratio. And they are fed to whatever your output device is whatever you want it to be in this case we're using a torch and um, this gas has some extremely unique properties that are not typical of hydrogen by itself mixed with oxygen later there's no poisonous gases involved here um, like oxyacetylene you don't have the danger of giant tanks of gas exploding uh, it's all generated on demand I have to make clear that we're only selling the torch head right now we're not selling the HHO generator so if you have an HHO generator al already um, this is a great tool to have Let me turn the power up running at about two to three liters a minute but we have a high pressure bubbler so we can store a lot of pressurized gas in there and then you can end up with a flame like that which is actually about a foot long not bad and you can cut a lot of things with that nails um, this is great for glass work jewelry you can do a lot of really strange things with this which I'll show you in a minute and you see this is the safety feature let's say you're working on something right and you drop it now you don't have a fire to worry about because the lever released so not only do you have the advantage of the flashback arrests are stopping the flame, but the gas is actually shut off. So if there was only a flashback arrestor here and you didn't have the release valve, okay, if you didn't have the release lever, even if you dropped it, the gas would still keep flowing and you'd have, you. there's a possibility you have a sustained flame anyway. But in this case, and that's a really good sized flame, in this case, if you drop it, okay, the the lever and the flashback arrestor prevents anything from happening. It's very convenient, very handy. So I'm going to show you what happens also. Let's say you turn the power off, or for some reason your cell breaks down and stops flowing gas. What happens is you end up with a situation where the flame will slowly decrease in size okay as you can see it and eventually it'll it'll flash back by default okay so that saved that saved your equipment from any damage no flashback in the tube always have a, a backup flashback arrestor you never know I'm gonna show you what we can do with this thing this is good for uh, pretty low flow um, applications too. I mean, though we don't really recommend it. We recommend uh, one to two liters a minute of gas flow, gas production from your cell. That's what we recommend. But it will work with very small amounts of gas. Now that's too small amounts. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn it up a little. But right now we're running at about half a liter per minute. Okay, and that's the flame size, which is pretty good. And see, stops the flashback. 
But if you have enough gas pressure, you can actually vary the flame size as you're working on something. Okay, so now you don't want that big of a flame, you just ease off and you have a smaller flame right there. You want more? Just press on the lever. And it also comes with a nice hook, you can hang it up. You can use this with a needle, like the basketball needle tips, but I don't recommend it. Um, mostly in part because that does tend to build up a lot of uh, HHO pressure in here, and that's a pretty dangerous situation, believe it or not. Um, but these tips can work on pretty low flow anyway, so why would you want to use a basketball needle? If you drop the basketball needle, it'll usually just break off. We don't really sell those because they don't last. Okay, so right here we have some things that we can burn. Let's start with the paper clip. Okay. You can just vaporize that thing down to nothing if you want. Look, this isn't even hot. Okay. What else? Got some glass. Okay, little glass. And you can do stuff like this, watch. Here's your metal paper clip. Here's your glass. Okay. So now you have a piece of glass that is fused with a stainless steel paper clip, and it is actually fused in there. Aluminum. It just eats aluminum. Doesn't want to fall off. Okay, just vaporized it up. That's why it wasn't falling off. An ordinary steel nail. piece of brick. The brick it will actually solidify, liquefy, and then solidify into like a black glass kind of substance. Another classic demonstration I'm about to show you. Welding a nail to a piece of concrete. Okay. have it. A steel nail welded and fused with a piece of concrete. That's pretty hot, so I don't want to touch it, but it's not a bad weld. And, and uh, believe it or not, this uh, the strength of this weld is based more on the uh, strength of the concrete rather than the weld itself. So there you have it, the H-Flow Browns Gas Torch.